Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Hey, hey, hey. I go, let me go. Every comment, these is ten. All right, today at five six o'clock. If you already got the address, pull up, man. You got the address, pull up. If you need the address, DM me right now. The full party start at five six o'clock. DM me for the address. A DM Fulio Bookie ESPN. I'm gonna put it right here. We just got here, bro. You got to add it. You got to add it, man. Push up. We just got to this. Tampa, Florida, man. You got already got to add it to the pool party. Push up at 530, man. Push up at 530, man. We finna get that thing right. Push up at 530, 6 o'clock, man. It's up. Uh, me drinking, cuz. <laughs> I don't need drink, cuz. You see that everybody popping out for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Everybody got their shot, put their shot in the air, man. Happy okay, David. Everybody take their three, man. One, two, three. <laughs> got my brother with me, he done popped out for me for my birthday. He done tired, it was a double lit. Oh, God, yeah. Hey. Souls and random choppers and killers in it. Catches. We can't do my birthday, man. Everybody come back to the spell. Oh, my God, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We deep. We deep. Uh, 20 deep. Lit. Everywhere we go. Four people have been shot at a Temple Terrace Holiday Inn. Tampa police are still on scene of this fatal shooting. Aiden your side's Chloe Sparks is joining us live with new information. Chloe, what's the update? Stacy, this is the Holiday Inn Hotel right across the street from USF, the Tampa campus. We just spoke with police officials who tell us that four people were shot here in the parking lot, and one of those people died here on the scene. The other three people are currently at the hospital. Now, police say they received a 911 call to McKinley and Fowler Avenue around 440 this morning. They say that they were told four people were shot. Again, three of them transported to the hospitals, one dead on the scene. They believe that those three other people will survive. Now they're trying to find out what led up to the shooting. What was the motive? They're looking for video. They're looking for any surveillance cameras outside this hotel or maybe any guests that maybe saw or heard what happened. They're trying to interview any witnesses. We're told they actually are letting people into the hotel right now. They're all actually being escorted by police as this whole entire parking lot is blocked off with crime scene tape. Now we're told that these hotel guests should not feel like their safety is at risk because there are so many police officers out here. But again, they're out here trying to find out how many suspects they're looking for. And then again, to get that suspect or suspects in custody. They said that it seems like those people who were involved in this shooting were coming to this hotel to get a room. It's unclear whether they were staying at this Holiday Inn. But again, four people shot in this parking lot behind me, three of those people injured, and one of them dead. We'll continue to work with police to find out more information this morning and report it back to you here on News Channel 8. Reporting live in Temple Terrace, Chloe Spark. Around 440 this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals, and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. As you know he finished. Hey, come here. Huh? Finish. Smokers. Huh? I'm going to get at the jump. Man, I, I really was going, I, this was one I wasn't going to even speak on, but as the night keeps surfacing, I just, it keeps coming at me. I keep getting texts. Man, first thing I'm going to say is, man, uh, I want to say my condolences to Julio Fulio's uh, family and friends. Um, yeah, he did things and I, I, I get it, but it's just, it's, it's tr and you heard me playing the song because this song, Young and Ace, just dropped, man. This video is trending number two on YouTube, man. It's going crazy. 
it's like it's like this whole thing is set up for our young black people to feed into it and it just basically amplifies the killing of our young black men every time i see it I'm looking at the way that this video is trending, man, and the way it's coming in and talking about killing and tenant windows and ops and the name of the song is Do It. And it's just, it's saddening, bro, because I don't, I don't understand how how some our people are winning as a culture to sit back. You either sit back and don't say nothing and you act as if, oh man, we don't want to say nothing because we don't want it to look like look like whatever. But somebody, man, I'm praying for Florida, man, because it don't make no sense for the senseless killing that's going on down there, bro. It happens in every city, man. But when it's amplified on this social media platform, the way it's streaming and doing now, it's crazy to me. And then one killing after the next being pretty much applauded. People are, are, are streaming. Some people are happy about it. Some people are sad and this thing is benefiting everybody who's touching it. And at the end of the day, man, somebody just need to stop and wake up, bro. I hope one person wake up out of this situation. It was a lot of people hitting that car, you know, and, and hopefully somebody come to a reality, man, get a, revel a revelation to, to cause them to want to not want to be a part of nothing like this anymore. Um, just praying for y'all, bro. Love all y'all young black people, man. Um, don't want to see nobody out here just dying. If you, I got kids these kids age. I just hate to see it, man. And like I said, the song, what, what really made me trip is that this song, Do It, is just trending. Young and Ace is at, I mean, it's number two right now. It's, it's way up. When it comes to YouTube numbers, it's right there at the top. Everybody's watching it, listening to it. That's a lot of people ears listening to that song and pretty much glorifying this death at, at some point, applauding it. And it's crazy to me. It, it's, it just, it lines up too perfectly. The ops are into it. Everybody's just pretty much getting into it. It's a great thing for everybody that's playing part in it. And the only one happy is Satan, bro. The only one happy is the devil. And I believe that way, bro. I believe we gotta speak up for our young men. Dudes my age, man, if it's somebody in your hood that's young, man, step up and say something to them. I know y'all said they ain't gonna listen, man, them young folk crazy. Don't take that attitude, bro. Say something to them. You never know if you could just help one. If you could just help one. Bro, that's what matter, man. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the, I can't do nothing or I can't say nothing positive that can change somebody's life. But I know through you, man, somebody can get a, a, a revelation and can change, bro. Just by you speaking something into one of these young men's heart. So I don't know who talked to these brothers, man. But man, young and age, bro, we love you, bro. Um, like I say, my condolences to the family, man. Leo Fulio, bro. Man, y'all, yeah, man, it's kids out here watching, bro. It's people out here watching, man. I know Boss Talk 101, y'all say I'm too spiritual and all that, but I've been in them streets, bro. And I don't, I, I, I don't wish this on nobody, bro. I don't wish this on no man's family. So, man, y'all, hey, man, just just get in the comments. Say something, man, positive toward trying to help change these young men's life. What could we have done differently in this case? How could we have changed things? What could we have done to spring up change to where maybe this wouldn't have happened? I seen Julio Fulio going on these podcasts. I seen, are you saying anything? The, the people who are interviewing these people, are you saying anything to them to want to change them, to help them? The Vlads, the No Jumpers, the Bootleg Kid, they love going on these big platforms, bro. But anybody sitting in front of ECEO, I can promise you, man, we giving them some good game, man. We trying to tell them something to deter them from killing one another. I hope and pray that somebody else will do the same thing, man. I know your ratings, you were, y'all already rich. Y'all already getting money, man. Why keep on doing this, bro? I'm, I'm finna get off here, bro, because it really upsets me. At the end of the day, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I hope the people who follow us, I know mine don't be like these. I'm trying to tell somebody how to change, bro. Holla at your boy, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.